There are some corners of the internet which have bred the most terrible things, things which act against everything that we believe in. Live action Wallace and Gromit is without doubt one of these things. So, like I did initially, you're probably wondering what the hell the context is behind this thing, and hopefully all of your nightmares will be put to rest by the end of this video. I first discovered this when in a university lecture, there was a presentation demonstrating various types of animation, with Wallace and Gromit being used to represent stop motion, but somehow unbeknownst to the lecturers who'd put it together, the image they'd chosen was not Wallace and Gromit. Perhaps startlingly, only myself and a friend of mine seemed to notice something was off, which is putting it lightly. Following the incident, we then looked up live action Wallace and Gromit, which led to... Yeah, you get the idea. But the first thing I thought here was, what was I looking at? It definitely gave off some uncanny valley vibes, but was it some kind of puppet, an animatronic, or weird CGI? The conclusion I came to was that it's a guy in a suit, or at least I'm pretty sure, but the mask kind of blends into the real flesh of the guy's face, and alongside the low quality of the recording, it, it's all kinds of unsettling. Next is the voice of Live Action Wallace, which strays so far from the original, it's just weird. Like, it's not even an attempt of an imitation, therefore it's just purposefully off-putting. Peter Salas, who originally voiced Wallace, had this kind of warm, I think Yorkshire accent. Oh. Oh, thanks, Chuck. Whereas this is... Uh, Eee, grommet. I'd love a cheese toasty. It's added to by the way the mouth just slightly moves as he talks. It's also slightly out of sync, like that generic trope of overdubbed Japanese films. Then the sound when he drinks his tea is twice as loud as everything else. Another weird aspect is how it uses music, sound effects and character names from the original films which would surely be protected by copyright. And on top of that, the portrayal of the aforementioned characters is questionable, to say the least. Be nice to have a lady make my tea. So, the plot of this thing is that Wallace needs the right trousers so he can dance and get himself a lady. And whilst Wallace has been shown to have love interests in some of the more recent films, none have been quite in the same vein as this. Come in. Would you care to see my train set? Give us a kiss, Twinkle Toes. Hey, steady. Come on, up them stairs. Right, let's get them trousers off. Ugh. This is a real thing, I swear. I'm not making it up. So, who is responsible for this downright abomination? Upon doing some research, the one-off special is from 1995, a skit as part of the Lenny Henry Christmas show. Now, when I heard this, I was like, what? I know of Lenny Henry. He's a famous British comedian, and apparently this is his doing? Okay, so when you know the context behind it, it's not as bad as I found it in a garage sale, and nobody knows why it exists. Also, the strange humour and laugh track now kind of makes sense. I built them myself, based on the trousers Fred Astaire wore in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> <sighs> Although, I love this comment on the actual video that reads, what makes it scarier is the canned laughter. Like I've fallen into some horrible alternate dimension where this is normal, accepted, and celebrated. Which is a brilliant summary. Canned laughter on its own is something that's just unpleasant to me. The way it's artificially placed over things to, in a way, control the audience's reactions. And on top of that, all of the recordings are usually really old stock audio. Meaning you're essentially listening to a crowd of dead people laughing. Nice. I just want to finish by saying the mental imagery of some rough northern woman trying to forcefully remove Wallace's trousers is something that will never leave me, and I sincerely apologise for sharing this burden with you all. And on that note, if you found this video enlightening, leave a suggestion in the comments section as to what topic the channel could cover next. Any likes, and especially subscribers, are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Stop, Jiggy! You can't get him off!